Um, so then what happens is I ask the groups to actually stand up and go around the classroom and try to find what equation they think matches the graphs. So um, I kind of showed, I kind of set them up around the room just so you can see a visual. So can you just look around the room? Do you see little yellow papers? <laughs> yeah. Samantha, can you go to that little yellow paper? <laughs> Yay. And if you lift it up, what do you see underneath it? It says C, and then if you lift up another one, it says a different letter. So they kind of go around and they say, like, I think our graph number three matches with the letter D, and they can kind of match what equation they think. And this is before we even talk about the equations at all. So, um, you know, first they do that, then they come back to their seat, and we then talk about, like, what did you notice when you were looking around the room for your equations? And a lot of them say, um, you know, I noticed that in my graph there were two linear functions, so I went around looking for linear function equations. Or in my graph there was an absolute value, so I went around looking for absolute value signs. Some of them talk about the amount of functions. I looked for two equations, I looked for three equations, or anything like that. And then some of them talk about the starting and ending points. I was looking for them ending on two or starting on three. So after that, can you go to the next slide? Yeah. Um, their task is to go around independently and try to match all of them up. Um, I had never done a scavenger hunt before, so I thought it was really fun to try it like this. And I wanted to point out this. This really helps some learners, but I do color code them. So like red, red, blue, blue, so some of the kids can kind of figure out. I just got to look for colors. Um, that's your choice if you want to or not. I also put with them usually tables so that kids can um, check the coordinates and see. Because it's not really important to me that they, like whatever cheating system they use to match them is fine. It's like what we do after that's important. And talking about, oh, I'm glad you noticed like the red with the red, but let's look at why those equations match. So that's pretty fun. And can we go to the last one? Um, oops, sorry, not the last one. The last Okay, so this is the last one I do, and um, I try to teach algebra students to graph piecewise functions. I th they usually are pretty scared by them because there's so many graphs on the grid. So what I do with the students first is I give them the big old scary equation. Can you go to the next slide? Right there. A uh, bunch of algebra students, and I say, all right, this is like a calculus question level almost. Uh, you're going to graph this by the end of the period. And they're like, what? No way, not possible. And I just ask them, can you please write down some notices and some wanderings about when you look at this? And I give them some time to think about it. It's kind of fun. Um, and then I walk around while they're doing that. And can you go to the next slide? I give them this. And it's something they're familiar with. It's just a piece of one function over a specific domain. And I give them enough boxes so they can fill them in and plug the inputs in and evaluate the outputs. And then they graph them on their own grids. I actually do this over two days usually because I collect this and make sure they're plotted correctly. Um, now this one's the quadratic, but if you go to the next slide, you'll see there's actually a quadratic, an exponential, a linear, an absolute value one. So they're all doing a different one at their tables, basically. And then what I do is I say, OK, great. Now what you're going to do is get back with your group and graph yours on a big graph paper. OK, now I'll trade with the person left to you. Graph theirs. I'll trade with the person next to you. Graph theirs. And then when they're done, I'm like, oh, look, you graphed the big scary thing. And they're like really happy that they were able to do it. Um, and then we talk about it afterwards. Um, we have them then go back and share, like, how does this equation match with this graph, and they start talking about things that they notice. And that's really it. Thank you. Thank you.